Howdy howdy, it's Lauren Messiah, your personal fashion stylist, and it's that time, it's fashion question time. Let's see what we got today. Lauren, can you please do a video on belts? Best classics to invest in, best ways to wear them. Thank you. Belts are a good thing. Belts are great to have. Great thing to have in your wardrobe, not only for function, but also for fashion. And I found numerous times while cleaning out clients' closets, they all have a lot of belts. And they're like, I don't know, I don't really wear these, should I just get rid of them? And I always say no. Belts don't really take up that much space. You can just hang them on a hanger and shove them in your closet, but you never know when a belt will come in handy to enhance your look. So let's break down the different functions of a belt really quick, just in case anyone was born yesterday. Um, one, belts help hold up your pants, okay? So for the longest time, I never really wore belts with pants. It was just like, I just buy pants that fit. I don't need a belt. But let me tell you, wearing stuff all day, it starts hanging down. Nobody likes butt crack. I mean, back in the Britney Spears day when it was cool to show your whale tail with your thong, those days are done and it's not appropriate for women of a certain age. Maybe that will come back for teenagers, but for us women, we don't play that. So wear a belt so you don't have any like crack showing, underwear showing, anything like that. Also just a normal belt with your pants, to me it really helps complete the look. If I'm gonna tuck in my shirt, it just feels weird to show the button and the, and the belt loops without a belt. So I really love wearing a belt pretty much on the daily, just for function and just to kind of complete a look. So those are like belts, you know, for your pants. But there's also waist belts. And this, one, it helps define your waist. So no matter what your body type is, there's always an area in your torso, which can either be your waist or a fake waist to make it look like you have a waist. So putting a belt, you know, at the top of a pencil skirt or you using a thin belt over a cardigan to help kind of define your waist and make you look like you have an hourglass, that is a real functional way to help show your body. And then ornamentally, it just adds a little more detail. Like maybe you don't want to wear a necklace or earrings or bracelets, jewelry is too intense for you. Adding a belt can be your jewelry. So sometimes I'll have a boring outfit on and I'll put on a belt and it just like takes it up a notch. The other day I had a pair of black high waist pants and a white blouse. And I kept like futzing with the outfit. Piece wise, it looked really good. I put on earrings and then suddenly I looked too 80s and weird. The shirt didn't really fit a necklace. It was goofy, a bracelet was boring. And I put on this super wide belt and it was just like, the whole outfit looked money. All of a sudden I was like, just rain dollars upon me. This outfit looks freaking amazing. And that's because I just simply added a belt. Now this isn't a belt that I use very often but that made that one, that whole entire look just by using the belt. So have a nice collection of belts for those moments where you're just like, it was like I got a new outfit. It looked like this fabulous jumpsuit. I'll have to wear it sometime. I blew my own mind. So anyway, so those are like the various functions of belt. Hold up your pants, complete a look, define a waist, and just create a whole new outfit. So how do you choose belts? Do you invest in them? What's the dealio? I like to have a good, just everyday belt. And my everyday belt happens to come from Madewell, and I bought two of them. I bought one that has a silver buckle, and one that's a little bit of a different style, but also from Madewell that has a gold buckle. And this, depending on my jewelry choices, or the style of my look, I can choose the silver, I can choose the gold. The belt was dirt cheap, but it's a good belt. It's a great belt and I've been rocking it for years and it blows any expensive belt that I've had out of the water. So I like those two black belts with the different hardware just for everyday use that fits around my waist. One belt that I did invest in is my Hermes belt. I wanted that belt for a really long time. 
bought it as a gift to myself for my 35th birthday. It's reversible so I can wear uh, the black leather or I can flip it over and then it's brown and then it has the gold H buckle. I really love that belt. I'm even considering getting a second one in silver. It makes a really nice statement. Obviously it has like the floss factor, the fancy appeal, uh, but it's just a darn good belt. And if I ever got sick of it, I could easily consign it and make a few bucks back. So those are kind of like my pant belts. I don't really get too many more because I don't end up wearing them because I really love the three of those. Then I'll buy a couple of fun waist cinching belts. Um, I have a white one by Temperly. Uh, I have a black one that's uh, Balmain. That's how I made that Floss Factor outfit. And again, they were a little pricier, but it's a classic, you know, black one, a cool white one, and I can wear them over and over and over again in different ways to change out my whole entire look. So a couple wide ones, and then another great place to buy belts that are good quality but not expensive are at Nordstrom in the accessories department. I bought a cool like faux leather um, black belt that I can just tie around things and I can add a bow or I can leave the, you know, the strings hanging down. Um, I bought a black belt that has a cool gold hardware. They were like $28. So just adding a couple of those without breaking the bank can really transform a look. So invest in at least one good belt for your pants invest in at least one good waist cinching belt, and the rest just have fun with it. Get some cheap thin ones at J. Crew. I got a little leopard print skinny one from J. Crew that I might belt around a cardigan, or um, I've even belted blazers with like a wide belt, which is really fun. So, you know, experiment. And when you're at the mall trying things on, maybe put some belts on and see what kind of looks you can create before pulling the trigger and buying some things, but have yourself some fun with belts, okay? So there you go. There's the answer to your fashion question. If you've got a question for me, you know what to do. Drop it in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer it right here on video. There's a lot of questions coming in. I'm not gonna lie. They all won't get addressed on video, but I will try my very hardest. And I read all the comments, so please leave them below. All right? Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe, and I will catch you on the next video.